do remember this. I mean, the, I, I really don't want to film there again in the heat. And that was Tunisia. And it was so hot. I was sitting in the car, and I had to drive in and stop, get out of the car, and walk into a building. Simple as that. That was the shot. But I was left uh, for some time waiting while the camera was, was set up and everything. And my car had no roof on, so it was a convertible. And I didn't realize it, but I felt all right. But I drove in on action, drove in, opened the door, got, uh, stood up on the pavement, and collapsed. I had to be given oxygen. I had uh, almost heat stroke there. So that, that was... Um, that was not funny. Well, because, it, you know, I'm all, I'm, I've got this wing collar and tie, and then I've got the padding underneath that, you know, the big padding and the waistcoat, and uh, in temperatures that were really, really up in the 30s, really high. But the most challenging location, as far as acting was concerned, has to be the blue train. Oh, yes, no, it's got to be the blue train. Although there were a lot of uh, lovely exteriors in Cannes and wonderful, but when it came to the summing up, we built the train. There was the train in all its confines, literally confines. And that was proved to be the most difficult summing up I'd ever had to do because all the suspects were in a line and I had this narrow little corridor to walk down. All of this is the work of an intelligence formidable. And very difficult to get camera angles for the camera crew, and, and, and uh, it was very, very challenging, and very hot inside the studio. We were doing it in the summer as well. The murder of Madame Ruth Catherine, the attempted murder of Mademoiselle Catherine Gray. I was always in front of the people that I was confronting. I, I couldn't go behind. Sometimes when Poirot goes behind the chair, you can see the person aware that he's there and all that. But this was absolutely face to face with every character that I had to, had to confront. Signora Malassi, you are 40 years of age. And in the end, funnily enough, if I'm allowed to say this, I think it was probably one of the most exciting. Because you are here on the blue train murdering Madame Ruth Kettering. If you like, the coup de théâtre for Poirot is the summing up. I mean, that is, because he could, I mean, Agatha Christie could have had Poirot come in, into the drawing room or the blue train or wherever, and say, it was you. Uh, but he does, she doesn't have that. He knows who it is, and yet he puts, <laughs> he puts everybody through hell. He makes everybody feel guilty. And uh, he goes on for a very long time in the books, and on every television show, it is the last act. Ma foi! The whole of the last act is summing up. And for me, the actor, of course, is, 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 is glorious, because it's my piece of theatre, as well as Poirot's piece of theatre. Now look here, goddammit! S'il vous plaît! This mauvais mauvais you all can only be prolonged by interruption. I look forward to it and dread it at the same time. It's become a very big moment in the, for the viewing public. And in fact, I've got several letters at home which tell me that they're watching the uh, episode live at home, start recording when I start my summing up. They all go out and have dinner. They come back, and during dinner, they've laid, laid bets on who they think have committed the crime. And then they play my summing up to see who was right. <laughs>